Over the course of science, individuals have attempted to comprehend how the universe started. The most widely recognized clarification has been something many refer to as the theory of how things came to be. Many examinations and the work of thousands of researchers support this thought, providing proof about how the universe began. Anyway, in the present universe of science, new technology brings us novel thoughts and points of view. These thoughts challenge our previous assumptions. Neil deGrasse Tyson has become a significant figure in this evolving universe of science. Now, something exciting is happening with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's noteworthy, something that could make us question the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. The James Webb Space Telescope has tracked down 750 new worlds. These worlds are not what we anticipated, leading us to re-examine what we assumed we knew about them. This telescope was intended to help us understand how universes came to be, so it's not shocking that it's stirring up how we interpret the universe. In the past, researchers said that the Big Bang hypothesis was the best explanation for how the universe began. By this hypothesis, around 13.7 billion years ago, the universe appeared through a mysterious astronomical event, like the dramatic story of the universe's birth. However, the pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope have tested this thought. These images show universes that are smaller, smoother, older, and more diverse than what the theory predicts. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, galaxies should look larger the farther away they are. However, these cosmic systems do not observe that guideline. The hypothesis also states that at the beginning of the universe, all the stuff that makes up the universe was packed into a small, superdense point called a singularity. This singularity was staggeringly hot, hotter than anything we could measure or create. This idea of a singularity comes from a set of equations in physics proposed by Albert Einstein called general relativity. Inside the singularity, all the stuff in the universe was compressed into a tiny space with super high density, meaning there was an enormous amount of mass and energy packed into a little space. In simpler terms, researchers have consistently said the theory of the universe's origin was how the universe began. However, now these new images from the James Webb Space Telescope are making us question that idea. The galaxies it found don't fit with what the hypothesis anticipated, and the hypothesis explanation of the early universe may not be as certain as we once thought. In our current understanding of the universe, we believe that all the energy in the universe originated from a very hot and very dense point called a singularity. This singularity serves as the starting point for everything we find in the universe today. After this singularity, the universe began to expand and evolve over around 13.7 billion years to become what it is today. The expansion began with something many refer to as cosmic inflation, where the universe grew incredibly quickly, faster than the speed of light. It's as if the very fabric of space itself was expanding, and everything in it was stretching alongside it. This astronomical expansion helped shape the universe by making things more uniform and setting the stage for galaxies, stars, and other massive structures to form. As the universe continued to grow, it didn't expand as rapidly as during cosmic inflation, but it still kept getting larger. We call this continuous development galactic expansion. Researchers have seen proof of this expansion through things like the way light from distant galaxies changes color, known as redshift. Now we should discuss those astonishing pictures of new galaxies taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. To most people, these photos look stunning with many galaxies in a single frame. Yet, for researchers, it's somewhat of a shock. These pictures don't match what their hypotheses predicted. Above all else, these galaxies are much older than expected. This challenges our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve according to the theory of the universe's origin. Additionally, there are far more galaxies than we anticipated. The theory of the Big Bang made predictions about the number of galaxies there ought to be and how they should be distributed. However, the James Webb Space Telescope pictures show many more galaxies than expected. This makes researchers question whether the theory's predictions are accurate. Some researchers are even starting to panic a bit because these discoveries don't match their assumptions at all. Another astonishing aspect of these new galaxies is their smoothness which conflicts with what the theory of how things came to be proposes. According to the hypothesis, galaxies should show irregularities and variations in their structures due to how they formed and evolved. 
However, the pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope show galaxies that are unusually smooth, lacking the expected complexity and roughness. During the expansion of the universe, everything that makes up our universe was compressed into a tiny space. As the universe expanded and cooled off, changes occurred, and particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons began to interact with light and energy around them. These interactions played a crucial role in shaping the evolution of matter in the universe. In the initial moments after the Big Bang, there was a process called nucleosynthesis, which involved the formation of light elements like hydrogen and helium. These elements set the stage for the development of stars, galaxies, and more complex elements as cosmic history unfolded. This combination of natural building blocks was a significant step in the universe's evolution, progressing from a primordial sea of particles and energy to a state where matter began to coalesce. The Big Bang hypothesis had predicted to see galaxies that were chaotic and disturbed due to various collisions. However, the James Webb Space Telescope pictures tell a different story. Rather than turbulent and disordered galaxies, the photos reveal smooth disks and orderly spiral shapes resembling the galaxies observed in the modern universe. This surprising finding challenges the notion that collisions are a typical part of galaxy formation. If there are few or no collisions occurring in these galaxies, as suggested by the theory of the universe's origin, it becomes unlikely that small galaxies could evolve to become much larger. Moreover, the optical illusion predicted by the expanding universe theory, where objects appear smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, doesn't seem to hold. Astronomers have observed a striking pattern where galaxies tend to group together in large clusters, forming complex networks across the universe. This observed large-scale structure aligns with the predictions made by the theory of the Big Bang. According to the hypothesis, the universe started in a super-hot and dense state and then continuously expanded and cooled over time. As the universe expanded, gravity played a crucial role in shaping how matter was distributed and in forming galaxies. The gravitational effects predicted by the theory of the Big Bang are consistent with what we see today, with gravity pulling matter together, leading to the clustering of galaxies and the formation of interconnected filamentary structures known as the cosmic web. The presence of these galaxy clusters and the cosmic web structure strongly supports the theory of the Big Bang. How galaxies are distributed across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects anticipated from the initial dense and expanding state proposed by the hypothesis. These factors, including the clustering of galaxies, the cosmic web structure, and the distribution of galaxy groups, provide solid evidence that the universe evolved from a very dense state and has been expanding for billions of years. Now, we should return to the size of the galaxies found by the James Webb Space Telescope. These pictures contradict what we thought we knew about the theory of the universe's origin. According to the hypothesis, small galaxies should evolve and grow through collisions and mergers with other galaxies. However, observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope have cast doubt on this idea. If galaxies were colliding and merging as expected, we would see evidence of these collisions or imprints in the surrounding galaxies. However, the pictures show something different. So, is the theory of the Big Bang just an idea without proof? No, it is in fact supported by compelling evidence, including observations of the redshift of light from distant galaxies, which offers support for the expanding universe hypothesis. Observations showing galaxies moving away from each other in all directions suggest consistent expansion, as anticipated by the hypothesis. The abundance of light elements, like hydrogen and helium, found throughout the universe is also consistent with the theory of the Big Bang's predictions. Moreover, the large-scale distribution of galaxies revealed through astronomical surveys matches the patterns predicted by the Big Bang theory. One of the most significant pieces of evidence for the Big Bang theory is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is a faint radiation that fills the entire universe and represents the afterglow of the Big Bang. This radiation, first detected in 1965, closely aligns with the predictions made by the theory of how things came to be. The observed characteristics of the CMB, including its uniformity and temperature distribution, strongly support the idea that the universe was once in an incredibly hot and dense state before going through expansion, a central component of the theory of the universe's origin. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background is a crucial piece of evidence that gives us a unique glimpse into the early moments of the universe. 
It serves as an echo of the initial stages following the Big Bang and has played a vital role in establishing the theory of the universe's origin as our best explanation for the beginnings of the universe. However, recent discoveries have challenged several aspects of the Big Bang theory. The presence of galaxies with ages that seem to predate the Big Bang contradicts the theory's central premise, suggesting that the Big Bang may not have happened as initially thought, and that everything might not have originated from it. Defenders of the Big Bang theory had anticipated that as the James Webb Space Telescope looked further into space and back in time, the number of recognizable galaxies would decline, eventually leading to an infinite dark age. However, recent research shows that even a couple of hundred million years after the hypothetical Big Bang, galaxies as massive as our Milky Way were expected. The James Webb Space Telescope images reveal a much larger abundance of massive galaxies at redshifts greater than 10 than what scholars had anticipated, challenging the validity of the theory of how things came to be. Additionally, the theory of how things came to be is associated with 16 incorrect predictions in the current body of scientific literature, with only one accurate prediction regarding the abundance of deuterium, a type of hydrogen. Some of these incorrect predictions include estimates of helium abundance, which are off by a factor of 2, and predictions for the abundance of lithium, which are off by a factor of 20. The theory also fails to explain various anomalies, such as the absence of the predicted illusion where objects should appear smaller with increasing distance. These irregularities raise concerns about the validity of the theory of how things came to be. By focusing on the colors of distant galaxies in the infrared part of the spectrum, astronomers can estimate the ages of the stars within these galaxies. Some of these galaxies appear to have stellar populations that are over a billion years old, contradicting the theory's assertion that nothing should have formed before the Big Bang. Despite these significant discrepancies, it's important to note that the potential collapse of the Big Bang theory hasn't received widespread attention in major news outlets. The lack of widespread attention to recent challenges to the theory of the Big Bang can be attributed to what's known as the Emperor's New Clothes effect, where questioning the theory often leads to researchers being criticized or labeled as uninformed, which can discourage further exploration of alternative theories. The cyclic universe model, in particular, might help explain the new galaxies that have been identified. These galaxies may be part of another cycle that we have observed. However, it's essential to note that these alternative theories have their own complexities and challenges, and the scientific community continues to investigate and discuss these ideas. The pursuit of knowledge and understanding in cosmology involves ongoing exploration and consideration of different hypotheses, and open discussions are vital for advancing our comprehension. As we dig deeper into the mysteries of the universe, the tools we use to explore it become increasingly sophisticated. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced capabilities, offers a new lens through which to view the universe, shedding light on aspects of cosmic formation and evolution that were previously shrouded in mystery. One of the key advancements brought by Webb is its ability to observe galaxies at various stages of development and at different points in time, providing a more nuanced perspective on their life cycles. Recent observations suggest that the early universe may have been more complex than the Big Bang theory initially proposed. For instance, Webb data indicate that some of the newly discovered galaxies appear to have formed significantly sooner than expected, challenging our understanding of cosmic timelines. This evidence pushes the limits of current models and forces researchers to consider alternative explanations for these discoveries. Another intriguing aspect is the potential for early-stage black holes. These theoretical objects, which could have formed in the early universe, may help explain some of the unexpected characteristics observed in distant galaxies. If these black holes are present, they could significantly influence the formation and evolution of galaxies, introducing new variables into our understanding of cosmic evolution. The increased resolution of Webb's observations also allows researchers to study the formation of stars and planetary systems in exceptional detail. By analyzing the light from these distant stars and the surrounding gas and dust, scientists can gain insights into the processes that govern star formation and the emergence of planetary systems. This information is crucial for understanding how conditions for life could arise in various parts of the universe. Over the course of science, Individuals have made concerted efforts to comprehend the origins of the universe. One of the most widely recognized explanations has been dubbed the theory of how things came to be. This theory has garnered substantial support from numerous studies and the tireless work of thousands of researchers, 
providing a wealth of evidence regarding the universe's beginnings. In today's scientific landscape, however, new technologies are introducing novel ideas and perspectives that challenge long-held beliefs. Neil deGrasse Tyson has emerged as a significant voice in this evolving field, contributing to the ongoing discourse. A particularly exciting development is the James Webb Space Telescope, which has yielded remarkable findings that could prompt a reevaluation of the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. The telescope has identified 750 new galaxies, which differ significantly from previous expectations, prompting scientists to reconsider what they thought they knew. The design of this telescope aims to enhance our understanding of how galaxies formed, making it unsurprising that its discoveries are reshaping our interpretations of the universe. Historically, researchers asserted that the Big Bang hypothesis provided the best explanation for the universe's origin. According to this theory, approximately 13.7 billion years ago, the universe emerged from a mysterious astronomical event akin to a dramatic birth. However, the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope challenge this notion. They reveal galaxies that are smaller, smoother, older, and more diverse than what the theory predicted. The Big Bang theory posits that as the universe expands, galaxies should appear larger the farther away they are. Yet, the newly discovered galaxies defy this principle, leading to further questions. The theory also states that at the universe's inception, all matter was concentrated into an incredibly dense point known as a singularity. This singularity was extraordinarily hot, far hotter than any conditions we can replicate or measure today. The concept of the singularity is rooted in Einstein's general relativity, which describes how all matter in the universe was compacted into a minuscule space with immense density, resulting in a vast amount of mass and energy concentrated in a tiny volume. In simpler terms, scientists have historically asserted that the theory of the universe's origin explains how the universe began. However, the new data from the James Webb Space Telescope prompt a reassessment of this idea. The characteristics of the galaxies it found do not align with the predictions of the theory, suggesting that our understanding of the early universe may not be as definitive as previously believed. Currently, it is accepted that all the energy in the universe originated from this hot, dense singularity. This singularity serves as the foundation for everything we observe today. Following this initial state, the universe began to expand and evolve over the course of billions of years, gradually becoming what it is now. This expansion is thought to have initiated with an event referred to as cosmic inflation, during which the universe expanded at an astonishing rate, even exceeding the speed of light. It was as if the very fabric of space itself was stretching, with everything within it expanding alongside. 